What's up guys? This is a car that I'm currently working on right now. So everything is in the making, the video, the actual job being done. All it is is a door skin, a door shell, and some bodywork along the side. Over here, I was just cutting a hole so they can see the damage if we were able to put a skin versus replacing the door shell completely. So I cut the hole so we can look inside and see if the beam was bent inward, which it was. So automatically the door has to be replaced. All I did was just cut a hole with my air hammer and uh, yeah, just pull this apart. And then it gave us a way to be able to look inside. And then on the rear door, you can see how it's wavy all the way back. So this, this show is just no longer any good. So I'm gonna replace that. And um, I bought this stud welder. I picked it up from uh, Harbor Freight. It was only a hundred bucks, you know. This is not the one I use at work. Although I might start to, I'm not too sure because we have another. And uh, I bought this one so I can do work at home. And in a little bit, you'll see why. But the air hammer, I mean, the, the two pound slide hammer that it comes with just automatically came out. I was having a hard time pulling it out. But it looks, it looks okay, it was not too bad. And then it comes with, of course, the stud weld gun itself. The instruction manual. And this has like a 90 day warranty, so hopefully it lasts a really long time. But this is it right here, the stud welder. And it comes with some stud welding pins, different sizes, I believe a two millimeter and a three millimeter. And uh, it also comes with a different size tip, but it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I thought it would be a lot cheaper, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see what I think on it. But from the view, from the look of it, it looks pretty good. But you're gonna see why I went ahead and bought this. Just stay tuned. So this is my Acura TL. It has some body work that needs to be done all around the car. The quarter panel right here where it meets the bumper in the quarter has a nice little dent right there. The rear door also has one. The front door also has one. The one on the rear door is a lot bigger than the one on the front door. You can feel it. It's, it's sticking out so I have to pull it and then hammer it back in, shrink it. And then I have one on the fender that I try to get in frame but I don't know if you guys can see it. You can totally see it in person and you can feel it, but I think you can kind of see it here, but I'm gonna knock that one out. I have one on the hood right where the chrome molding goes. I don't know if I'm gonna fix that or get a new hood. I'll just have to see when the, when the time comes. And then I was driving and then I had a blowout on the highway and it broke the corner of my bumper. So I'm definitely gonna be replacing this. No damage to the fender, thank God. Just on top, it has a dent similar to the other one but a lot smaller. The biggest dent I have, I believe, is this one on the door. You can see it goes from the top all the way to the bottom, from body line to body line, but I'll knock that one out and fill it with filler too. This rear door doesn't seem to have anything on there, but I didn't double check all that great, so I'm gonna figure it out. And the quarter has one here, and the bumper has a gouge in the back, but I'll go ahead and repair that. This one, This one's okay, it's fine. But I have a idea of how I want the car to look. I went on Google and saw a picture. I'm gonna put it up in the corner, but that's the end goal for this project. I hope you guys can watch all the way through and see it and let me know what you guys think. But you guys stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming soon. Thanks.